What's up guys? Today I'm sitting on the floor because it's Sunday. It's really cozy day to be honest. I'm wearing today my cozy hoodie from Levi's. One of the best hoodies for a winter, I swear to God. Officially it's not winter. I just talked last week with my friends and they told me that official beginning of winter is should supposed to be like after 20 of December. So 21st, 22nd, maybe 23rd. And I was like, excuse me? I thought like beginning of winter is like end of the November, blow my mind completely. But today I'm gonna show you my Doc Martens collection, which I'm pretty proud of. Uh, it's not like a huge collection, like maybe some people do have like 40, 50, 60 pairs. I'm a big fan of Doc Martens since one year and in this year I'm owning already like seven or eight pairs. I'm also gonna tell you some disadvantages and advantages of certain pair. Let's jump into video, I hate these intros. So let's start with my first pair of Doc these are Carlson slides and uh, the color is sandy which we are bumping into first disadvantage they look really good I mean I love them how they look but you have to be really careful to not get them dirty and they can get dirty really fast because it's really hard to wash them like really it's a pain in the ass to wash them and also they are a bit heavier because I have a Birkenstocks and if I compare them with those a big difference especially because they have a bit bigger sole and uh, that's why they're a bit heavy but I have to admit that they are really comfy and uh, super easy to use of course with me which shoe is not super easy to use. Although I'm wearing them only in spring and summer, I don't recommend them to wear them in like winter, but if you want, good luck. So my second pair of the dogs are Dexton. To be honest, I just bought them end of the summer because they were on a sale and I did not even try them yet, like to walk outside, they're completely new. So for those, I cannot tell you how they feel when you walk like a bit longer, you know, but uh, I mean, I just try them on and they fit me. So next year, probably in the summer, I'm gonna wear those and uh, I'm gonna give you an update how they feel. They're also pretty heavy to be honest. They're really chunky I'm gonna style those with like some oversized pants oversized outfit. They do look good to be honest You know standard color for dogs black the third one. Oh my gosh, they're a bit dirty I'm so sorry for that. But yeah, whatever. They're loafers the model is Adrian. They were with me the whole fashion week. They were killing me first two days, to be honest. Uh, I just bought them like, I think a day or two before I went on a fashion week. I had no time to crack them. The most painful thing before I cracked them was here on the top. So here inside on the top, it was killing me completely. Like first two days, I was like dying inside of the shoe. But after the second day, they were cracked. I think like the loafers are really timeless shoe. To be honest, when I was a kid, I saw so many people wearing those and I still do now after I don't know 10 years so like I said they are timeless and it's really good investment if you have shoe like that doesn't matter if it's Doc Martens or any other brand but to have a loafers to own one of those pairs I think it's like one of the good investments moving on with my heaviest Doc Martens if I can say so these are quads bro the model is 1461 quad <sighs> Can you see that sole, bro? It's huge. First, I was really concerned how I'm gonna walk in those. Let me tell you that I get used to it like super fast. Now it feels like a normal shoe. It's just a bit heavier, that's all. But once you, when you have them on and you walk like maybe a couple of meters, it's fine. It's like you get used to this heavy shoe and it's fine. I'm a bit short and I'm like 177 centimeters, so it gives me like two, three centimeters, you know, and then I'm like 180 and it's fine, you know, like I love those soles. I think I'm gonna order more of those chunky ones, so more of the quads. Number five, Doc Martin stud. I'm gonna put one shoe down because it's a bit dangerous. They're more or less like collection for me. Advantage of the shoe is if someone actually wants to fight you, you just kick him in the face and believe me, he's injured. Okay, jokes on the side they're really comfy you don't have to crack them uh, even though maybe they don't look like that but they're really comfy the only minus to be honest is it's really hard to style them at least for me at the moment sometimes when I style them a lot of people ask me like why do you have shoes with studs and I'm like why do you care at least I own them you know like it's my collection kind of thing you know number six are I think one of the most basic Doc Martens you can get low black ones uh, to be honest I bought them not so long ago I think two weeks ago I have to admit that they're pretty hard I'm cracking them I think since a week already this bag it's killing me it's killing me here I swear I don't know when they're gonna be 
get cracked, but my heel damage destroyed and the Galente. You can style them in almost every outfit and it's gonna turn out really good. Basic black, elegant slash street stylish to be honest. Don't buy them if you don't want to get hurt. Those are really pain. Moving on with my favorite shoe from Doc Martens. Bags Doc Martens, Chelsea boots. These are one of the best shoe ever. I swear, I'm wearing them all the time. I love them. You can wear them in summer, winter, autumn, spring, any time of the year you can wear them and they will look good. Those are my second pair of Chelsea boots because my first pair actually got stolen. Let me tell you how that happened. They were actually only two or three days old, so I got them and after the third day, I was like, okay, let's visit my friend. I left the shoe in front of the entry door. Don't ask me what I was actually thinking that time because I, I don't know. After two hours, I wanted to go home and uh, I opened the door and they were like gone. First, actually, I thought that someone is pranking me, but apparently not. Uh, someone actually stole my shoe, and uh, the fun fact is that it was a lot of snow outside, and I was like, oh my gosh, what I'm gonna do now? So I borrowed the sneakers from my friend, and uh, yeah, it was pretty cold. So now I'm taking care of those babies. I'm taking care of all of my Doc Martens, all of my shoes. Just a tip, you know, don't leave them outside of your entry door, probably you know that. From mistakes you learn, and uh, that was like a huge mistake, but I do own them now and if maybe the person who stole my shoes is watching right now I wish you all the best I hope they fit you or if you sold them I hope that you got a lot of money because they were completely new and don't forget to stay wavy baby you know like you took uh, advantage of my mistake and I respect you for that so I learned something out of it and for you guys I'm gonna update you if I'm gonna get like new Doc Martens to show you my further collection I hope one day I'm gonna own like 40, 50 pairs. Imagine a whole wall behind me, just Doc Martens with different collaborations, different collections. That would be freaking awesome. Like I said, enjoy, have fun, and uh, stay wavy, baby, and see you in the next one. Ciao, ciao.